la 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 do, do, do. hello folks a warm welcome um yeah a warm welcome on a frigid cold day here in central pennsylvania when will this winter end <laughs> Hey, what I thought I'd just do quickly today is just give you my thoughts um, on the Shimpo wheel. This particular Shimpo wheel that I've got down here, which is a Shimpo VL Whisper. And um, sometimes it's useful, isn't it, to have what other people think of a certain product. And I'm, I'm, I'm somebody that... Um, I like to read reviews, you know, what other people think. It helps me. It influences my decision about whether I'm going to buy it or not, you know. And so this is not going to be a, this is not going to be an in-depth discussion about this wheel, but just uh, just uh, a few thoughts, let's say, about it. So, well, you can see it's got uh, three legs, and those legs, incidentally are adjustable legs so that this wheel can be um, in fact I think you can take the wheels the the legs off of it if you want to all together and it'll sit on a table uh, become like a, a, a tabletop wheel so here here down the side you see you've got these these holes in the leg and you've got these these allen allen screws well you can see how i've got it at the moment i've got it only it's only it's only just catching there on that one screw it's supposed to have the other screw those two screws so i've in fact got it a little bit extended almost overextended but it's okay it's perfectly safe it's held there by by those by those screws so adjustable legs which is good um, let's see uh, let's talk about the general construction it's fairly it's fairly well constructed uh, it's fairly robust and um, just pop this back on the on the tripod here I just wanted to show you those legs, you see, how they were. Um, yeah, it's fairly solid. It's quite heavy. It's quite heavy. Um, on the speed, on the control here, you push it upwards, the switch, to turn it on, and then you've got so you can go both both directions you see that's what that's for just to you've got a a fairly nice uh, foot pedal here which you can adjust the 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 looseness of it, or let's say the sensitivity of it, by loosening or tightening that screw. It's actually quite important your foot pedal to get it just right and just get the control that you need with your foot. You don't want it too loose. You know, neither do you want it too stiff, because if when you're pushing it and then it suddenly it suddenly changes, you can you know cause problems to the pot you're making. So now um, this has got a an aluminium underneath this. This is a, a bat, a uh, one of those. Uh, Wooden, it's not wood, you know, it's like material that's compressed, wood chips or something. 
this is an aluminium wheel head with two pins here. Um, you've got a, a splash pan here, which what I thought I would do is I, I, I thought I'd, I'd empty it just to show you how easy it is or difficult it is to do that. So, yeah, I mean, this just pulls apart, you see, like that. And then I, what I do is just... Just thought I'd show you the. It's quite, it's quite stout, it's quite solid, with a a turned over lip here. Okay. That can be use, useful when you're throwing, cleaning your hands. You see, on the side here. It's got these two, these two clips here, which they locate like that, you see. Now I find that this is, is reasonably good, that if you make the join properly here, and you make sure that it's properly joined, that um, you don't get too much leakage. It's very typical with these wheels where you have a, a splash pan that splits into you often get a bit of a leak around here. So best not to overfill it. You don't want to, to, to overfill this because if you overfill it with too much water, you're going to get it, it's going to start pouring over the edge here. And when that happens, um, you you'd want to make sure that you're not swamping the the bearing here. It's probably got some sort of waterproofing and Nevertheless, you don't want to let water get down in there. Now, with this particular, with this particular kind of wheel, the the actual motor, the motor is directly underneath the wheel head, so it's 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 like a a direct drive. There is no pulleys and uh, V belts or anything like that inside here. This here that you spin is the armature of the actual motor. So, the result of that is, you see these just go like that, and then like that, and then you, you just clip them together. You can rotate them around. Um, so I'm just going to put the bat on here. Now typically these wheels come with, I don't know if I've got one here to show you, but they typically come with a plastic bat. Something like that, but but bigger. This one is from the other Shimpo wheel I have, the little one, which I did a review on the other day. So, so you've got work area here. This is useful, of course, and necessary. And you're going to put your water pot here. It gives you a bit of space here. Some people... Some people like to 
perhaps put a wear board across here. I don't myself. I like to keep my wear board to one side. Um, now you find with this wheel, as I, as I can't remember which way I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I got confused for a moment there. <laughs> anyway, um, you may find that you may want to put one of these type of bats on instead of a, a plastic bat. Plastic bats are not too bad, but they can they can tend to uh, vibrate sometimes. Now, if you have one of these wheels and you have plastic bats and you use plastic bats, um, I recommend because they they don't come. You see this bat here? It's got these two holes. You see which enables you to, to line up okay, the bat on the wheel head quite easily and quickly. Now the plastic bats that come with this don't have the holes going all the way through. So what I recommend you do is get a drill and drill them out, you see. Drill them right the way through. And then you'll find it a lot easier to locate the bat in case you have difficulty, like I have had, in trying to find the trying to find the holes, you know, it becomes a bit frustrating. If you just drill all the way through, it's easy. Bob's your uncle. So um, now you notice this bat is a bit wobbly because I think it's it probably got a bit. It's got a little bit of a warp in it. So I'm just putting him the other way up. Let's I'll just talk about the speed. Are we in the picture? Are we in the picture? Yeah, we are more or less, aren't we? I just moved back a touch, so I'm not quite so. Um, This wheel is very, very quiet. It's probably the quietest wheel you can buy. And you see, you can't hear it. Very little. And that's because there is no, there are no pulleys and there are no V-belts or anything like that going on inside. The motor is very, very silent. And that can be very nice. I don't mind a bit of sound actually, but this motor you will find is very powerful. And even if you've got it going very slowly, you see how slowly that's going? You try and stop it. You can't stop it. Even when it's going very slowly. You see? It's got power. It's got power. It's got speed. If you want speed, it's got speed. And it's got low down torque at low, low speed. That's very, very nice. You find that when your foot is on here, only a very small movement, only a very small movement, and the wheel changes speed. Now that's something I don't really like that much, actually. I was I was I was making pop one day and uh, I was like this, you see, and my hat my hat fell off. And landed on here and 
and change the speed and the, I was making a I was making a delicate bowl and suddenly it just it suddenly went fast you know and the bowl just went to pieces <laughs> um, yeah as I say you want to get the right get the right adjustment on this nut here and you want to tighten it or loosen it so you get just the right amount of feel it's about feel you see you got to get that you've got to get that feel with your foot that you like and um, it's probably it's probably a good idea if you don't when you're making your pot use the accelerator pedal here as a footrest personally I tell people you know get your speed that you want when you're throwing and take your foot off of the pedal and then and then work. If you need to go a bit faster, then just adjust it up a little bit, go a bit faster. Alright? I don't know what these wheels sell for. I think they're around about $900. Um, but I personally, personally, I think, I think they're a reasonably good wheel. Um, the only electric wheels actually that I have are Shimpo wheels, I don't have any other type. And um, so, I don't know what else to say really. <laughs> well, maybe best just to keep it simple. But there you are, there's just a few thoughts, a few thoughts about the wheel. Oh yeah. You can, if you want to, take this off. Underneath here, there is a, an Allen screw, and you can, with a, a bar that comes with the wheel, you get like a T bar. You can turn that, undo it, lift the wheel head off. If I had that bar here now, I'd show you how to do it, but it's very simple. And. Um, So there you are folks, uh, Shimpo VL Whisper. Quiet, powerful, controllable, controllable if you get used to the foot pedal and you, you know, you, you, you get just that right amount of feel with that nut as I told you. Okay, folks, well, that's it. Finito. <laughs> I'll see you in the next clip. Meanwhile, keep practicing. Visit my website, simonleachpottery.com. We are uploading new pots there, so please go there, have a look. Maybe there's something there that you like. And I'm getting more of those trim tools um, very soon now, hopefully. Okay, bye-bye now.